Hey guys, Superturn here. Welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. Last time we did a bit of exploring. This time we're going to do more exploring. And by exploring, I mean we are going to head down. Map up, please. We're going to head down to the lower parts of the fungal wastes because... That's the closest area that we can go currently. Like, I'm sure there's other areas that we can explore now, but that's one of the closest. That does not involve in a gratuitous amounts of... Ow! Farming. So, I'm sure it'll be safe. I'm sure it'll be a good place to go. Uh, yes, I need to go over. I think you're actually an enemy that's pretty easy to get all the kills in on. I almost hit that acidy water. Poison water. I almost hit that death water. But I didn't. Come on. Hit you. I'm getting very lucky since I'm not really paying attention to where I need where I'm landing. One, two, three, run. Just, like, remember when I said I wasn't really paying attention to where I'm landing? That's that's a good example of how, what I meant. Um, we need to go to the left here. To the left. Was a cloth in this room? It is. Hey, cloth. Anything more to say? I wasn't hiding, you know. Just snapping before I head off again. Bound to be facing even more deadly beasts soon, so I gotta keep my strength up. I like cloth. Cloth is pretty alright. Alright. For us now, we need to go down. And I don't mean into acid. I'm gonna make a habit of, like, laying... Not in every acid pit, but in probably a third of them. Alright, we've already seen that we can't go that way, though. Hornet did head off in that direction. Uh, not last video, but the video before. We are going to want to head that way, but we do not have the capability to do so yet. We must still explore some more. Oh, get away from you. Um, let's keep heading down. We have not headed down all the way yet. Down. Let's see, we can't properly get up there, so I guess the only way we can go is to the right. Uh, hmm. So, any anyone recall what Hornet said, or not Hornet, what uh, Conifer said about running into these, like, long bugs who seem kind of aggressive? Say hello to the Mantis. Mantis are exactly what he described, and they are none too easy to fight, for the most part. Oh boy. Here's a Mantis Young. You just killed a warrior earlier. Oh boy, are they they are none too easy to fight. But if you're given plenty of room, they actually aren't that bad. Usually. I tend to trade hits on them though. And that's pretty much all I have to say on that on that matter. Is I just I tend to trade hits on them because it is very difficult for me to do otherwise. The young ones like to lunge at you with their tails. The older ones, of course, use their claws to great effect. Oh, I didn't want to read that yet. I'll read you later. I will read you later. Like, after I kill you, the kid. Alright, wanderer seeking death. Welcome. May you, find may you find swift upon our claws. May you find swift end upon our claws. But I'm not seeking death. I'm seeking other things. Oh, boy. Bounce, bounce. They do also attack above you, so they are clever in that regard. Most enemies, most of the more aggressive enemies, like knights and warriors and whatnot, do have ways to attack up. So you can't pogo on everything. And it's very difficult. It, at time, I don't know good ways to dodge the uh, mantis at times. I feel like all I can do is take a hit. Whoop. One. Jodge away. Okay, just gonna take that hit. At least it's only like four swipes to kill them. But, like, I don't have good ways to fight most of them. Realistically, I should have better ways to fight the kids, but I just take damage all the while anyway because I'm smart. I have no excuses for that death or for that fall. I really don't. All right, so there is. Ooh. Whoa! 
apparently a good way to deal with them is to use your soul. Makes perfect sense. Let's take this money. I have a lot of money. I'll be able to buy that uh, Lumafly Lantern pretty soon. My goal currently is to make it to wherever this bench is. Boop, 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 boop. If you can time it well, you can actually bounce on their heads pretty safely. Pretty safely. Need a heal. Gonna get, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a lot of um, geo after this. I think I will be able to buy that Lumafly lantern if things go as I hope. Eh. Get to the bench. All right, bench. What do I have to say, map? The Mantis Village. We are rather close to that. We should probably make our way there. Now, let's see. I think... I think we have to go in this way, or no? No, I don't think this is the way we need to go per... Hey, bug. I can't get to you, bug. We'll be back for you, if I remember. I'll remember eventually. I just don't know how soon. Hmm. Hmm. What are you? The Dash Master. Oh, hey, we can keep going this direction. Cool. And attack you. Got the little ones. Got you killed. And we can't do anything in this room. Dash Master, I should actually stop at that bench again and equip a charm. The Dash Master is actually a charm I used a lot on my first playthrough. Oh, excuse me. A lot on my first playthrough. And the entire thing is that I almost walked off into the death water. Good job, me. The thing with the Dash Master is it lets you dash more often. And you can dash downwards. It was nice, but I'm not going to really look into using it this time around. As it stands, I don't actually have anything that I can equip with just one notch open. So that's going to be left open for now. Oh, well. Don't worry. We'll, we'll fill that up at some point. Actually, now's a pretty good time to explain this mechanic if it works the way I understand it. Oops, stop on the bench. You actually can. Uh, how do you do this? There we go. If you keep trying again and again, you can overcharm. The downside to this... Can I add more? No. The downside to this is I believe you take double damage. So for how you saw that worked, we needed to have at least one notch open. And then we could still attempt to add on a charm. And we had to keep trying until we broke our charm notches. Yeah, it's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to go up. It's not something I ever really would do myself, but I thought I would show off that mechanic. And let's skip past you for the time being. Because now we are entering the pro or we're heading for the proper entrance to the Mantis Village. It's not too far up ahead. Anything up above? Doesn't look like it. Kind of sort of doesn't look like it. Here we are. The Mantis Mantis Village proper. Oh, darn it, you hit me. You hit me again. I should have just kept trying to hit you. The Mantis Village, as you would expect by the name, is full of Mantis. I I can take you out from down here because the attack kind of clipped through the ground a little bit. The Mantis Village is actually a pretty dangerous place at this point in the playthrough. I'm going to keep taking all these because I want as much Geo as I can get. Attack you. Attack you and kill you. So, our goal for now is going to be to open... Ooh, right, one, two, and I get hit again. That's fine. You take four shots to kill. If I'm careful, I can actually do that with only taking a single hit. Pressing that switch there, we'll open that up, so we're going to have to make our way back up top. And, and oh, wow, I got you without taking a single hit that time. That's that's pretty impressive for me, because it's, well, me. All right, so this time we do want to keep going up, now that we can get through here. 
climb up through here, attack the mantis child. Come on down, and what is our reward? We have found the mantis claw. Mantis Claw is a wall jump, and it is a really good wall jump, because it is a single wall jump. You only need one wall in order to scale things. With this ability, we have opened up a lot of the world. As far as abilities go, I'm pretty sure this opens up more areas than any other ability by itself. Because we have so much more vertical movement now. Like that's and that's all it needs is just so much vertical movement. We can cling to our walls and actually dash off them if we need to be a bit more uh, safe with our jumps because we're doing it over spikes or whatnot. Though keep in mind as well that spikes you can do that off of if it's necessary. I'm not worried too much worried about it right now. For now, however. I think we did a thing. For now, however, my goal is down. Because this switch just opened this up here. Whew. This is going to be a fun thing. Can't go to the left. Nothing to the right. Except death. I mean, death is a thing that would exist in all directions, but that's beside the point. Alright, so this is, pr this is kind of a mini gauntlet-like thing. Just because there are a number of those spike picks and whatnot, it's not terribly bad at the very least. Our goal right now, though, is to get out and start opening up these shortcuts back. Like, if we climb up here, we can open up this door so we can get back easier. Nice that way. I kind of always cling to uh, walls when I'm going down in an unfamiliar area, just because it's... Well, an unfamiliar area. I don't know what's around. Uh, that could have gone better. But I killed them both and only took a single hit. That actually was pretty good. Alright, let's keep going up. Open this door here. Yep, and what's off to the right? Mantis! You jerk. We'll be back for this. Please do not let me forget about that. I forgot about that for a long time in my playthrough. But we'll be back for that. One, two, three. Damn it. Three, ash. And ash. Right, we need to keep going down for the time being, though, because there is, of course, going to be stuff at the bottom of the Mantis Village. I mean, why wouldn't there be stuff at the bottom of the Mantis Village? Open up this shortcut here. Find more Geo. Yeah, we're definitely going to have enough Geo to get the Luma Fly Lantern. Definitely. Eh. Take you down. You back up. More Mantis up and about. Kill this one. And now. Kind of useful that we only need two shots to take them down now. Now, this is where things get... fun. Welcome to our next boss fight. I really do like that it's just challenge. The Mantis Lords. I'm going to have to remember how the hell they work. Alright, so... Jumps above me, I can dash out of the way. Jumps over there, stay away so I can see what direction the scythe goes. They go low. Jump out of the way. Alright, so the only real safe time to heal is going to be this attack right here. And I didn't really have a properly full safe time to heal. But, ooh, this is bad. This is bad. The Mantis Lords are probably one of the hardest early bosses. Oh, wow, I got my full heal back up. That is perfect. 
But yes, the Mantis Lords are probably one of the hardest early bosses in my experience. And part of that is you realize we're only fighting one of them. There are two more in the background. One other thing I make a point of is if he's not jumping to the wall, do try to stay in the center. As you will see, he can jump down to the sides, and if he jumps to the side you're at, you just get hit. That's all there is to it. But yes, the Mantis Lords are dangerous, without a doubt. And you can kind of see I'm going to panic a little bit with my movements, dashing side to side. And that's very understandable because, well, I'm me. I'm going to panic a lot. Back up to full health at least. And as you can see, they, this Mantis Lord has a lot of health. I do actually know how to fight him at least. I do know, like, we've already seen all of his attacks. But that was only one. Now there's two. It's effectively all the same attacks. We've already seen every attack they can do. There's just two of them now. They will either go at the same time or off center or off sweet sequence like you're seeing right now. That right there is a part where you just need to try to stay in the center of the arena as much as possible. You do not really have time to heal right now. All right. And where's the other one? There they are. You do not properly have time to heal when this fight is when this phase is on. So you just kind of need to tank everything that happens as it happens and re react to things. I do not know how I'm keeping this commentary up. Yeah, I do not really know how I'm managing to keep commentary up as this is happening. I have no clue at any given point how close I am to defeating these ones. How, did I, or how close I am to defeating the wards. I am just playing every moment of this fight as though I am at like, well, I've only done one hit. I'm doing every moment of this fight as though I'm at 100%. Which is pretty good advice for the most part, because one careless mistake can very quickly ruin your day. Especially if you get hit, and the knockback pushes you into those spikes. Oof, get back to the center. Back over here. For the most part, the center of the arena is the safest place to be again. I know I've already mentioned this. Hopefully we are pretty good along. Uh, how far? Okay, so I need to jump over to the center. I probably could have healed between that, but I don't like... Oh my word, make up your minds. Or like, not, don't, not less than make up your minds, more so do another... Oh, ooh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Real bad. Real bad. Real bad. Oh, bad. Bad time, bad time, bad time. Oh crap, bad time, bad time, bad time, bad time, bad touch. All right, one left. One left. <laughs> that was very close. And they just bowed to us for defeating them. We have earned their respect. Now then, we can climb back up. Sadly, all these mantises are dead, so I can't show this off right away. And there's going to be... Oh, not all of them. You're still alive. You can see he's now non-aggressive. And more so, we come back this way. The doors open. The mantis warrior bows. For defeating the lords in honorable combat, you have earned the respect of the mantis tribe. Which is kind of sad for one particular reason. We go down here. And you see we still have to kill some of the youth and the warriors to get them on the actual journal. And I will have to do that later. But the Mantis Lords themselves. Leaders of the Mantis tribe and its finest warriors. Thin Nail Ants is an attack with blinding speeds. The Mantis tribe and the old bugs of Hollowness had no love for each other. But the Mantis outlived their rivals, and their civilization still stands. The Mantis also had one other particular purpose, and we'll be getting into that 
shortly. I just wanted to come up here to grab the Mark of Pride. More so than anything. Oh. The Mark of Pride is a charm. It is a very nice charm, and one I did not get for very long at all, which saddens me. It will greatly increase the range of the nail, allowing you to strike from further away. Sadly, I do not have the notches open to give this because I would have to get rid of the Soul Catcher or both the Gathering Swarm and the Wayward Compass, and I don't want to do either of those. Of course, I could also do the scenario. Excuse me, ow. I could also do the scenario where I overcharm. I don't want to do that either. But yeah, you can. They do at least try to attack you, so they aren't completely stupid. But it's like, I feel bad for having to do that because the rest of the tribe will still be passive. So I feel bad for the fact of what we have to do in order to complete the journal. Gather another hollow nest seal. I'm going to go off to the side here. Another chest. Full of money. We just robbed the mantis guys. We just we just robbed them completely blind. I'm going to heal. Because where we're going... Oh, 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 where we're going. You know what? Actually, that's a pretty good... No, I'm going to go down there before I stop off. Because... It's going to be a pretty good point to stop uh, where to start the next episode. I'm going to go all the way down there for it. But yeah, they don't even hurt you as you go through them anymore. Completely passive. Ah, oh boy, I'm going to have to do it this way. So if I jump like this... How do I want to do this? I can't get up that way. Whatever. We'll come up, we'll come up this way. We'll climb up this way. It's fine. It's fine, I swear, guys. Uh, I feel bad when I'm going to have to come back to kill you the rest of you guys later on. But stuff happens. And that's all I have to say on it. One thing to make a note of. The remains of a fourth chair. Hmm. But if we continue past the door that the Mantis Lords were guarding... Well then... I wonder what horrors we're venturing into next time. Later.